Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a cute little bow which uses just 30 centimetres of ribbon. That's a, um, a great little bow to make when you've got some odd scraps of ribbon that you want to use up. In my case I had this um, piece of ribbon here. I've literally just had to cut off a little bit at the end to give me my length of ribbon. Um, but that's ideal for using this up. Um, usually when I make this bow I'll use the matching ribbon to make the tails but obviously I only had sort of this length of ribbon so I didn't have enough excess to make the tails today so I've gone for a black glitter fabric um, glitter fabric you can buy off eBay or any sort of craft store um, but yeah that's really good just to make tails with um, to make the tail shape I just cut the 10 centimetres in length, um, the same width as my ribbon, and then I folded it in half and I cut a V shape, and then I folded it in half again and I just sort of rough handedly guessed this bit here. I, I've made these quite a few times, but I will have to do another tutorial on that. Um, I do sometimes make my own bow template, so. That will be another day. Anyway, for now I'm showing you how to make this bow. So first of all, I've got my ribbon, which is a 38 millimetre wide. And I've already cut this to 30 centimetres. I've used a lighter and I just heat sealed the ends off just to stop any fraying. I've already done that. And then I've folded this in half and I've scored a crease in the centre and that will just be the guide for when you start to make your bow. So to make the actual bow, first of all, you need to lay your ribbon down flat in front of you. The pattern side is underneath. You need to bring the top part down and then flip it over to the left so you've got like this sort of C shape I'll show you that again you want to bring it down and then flip that to the left so you've got this C shape and then you want to bring this end in leaving a diagonal angle there and you want to match this corner up with this end and this line central with the end of this ribbon you will have a little bit of a gap here about a centimeter I haven't measured that but you can just do that by eye you don't need to measure that part so you should have something like that and then the bottom end you want to do the same but the opposite way so this one we brought round this way and flipped and this one is going the opposite way. So we're going to bring it up and turn that over to the right. And then you want to overlap this piece with this piece of ribbon. And you are going to have this corner in line with this corner. Making sure that corner is still in line with that corner. And once you're happy with that, and you think that looks all nice and even, have a little fiddle with that. So you've got this sort of figure of eight. You then need to take a pin. I haven't actually got a pin, I'm using a needle. And just pin that in place to hold it together. So there you have your figure of eight shape. And then you want to bring these two ends in together, pinch them at the top and just fold. And you now need to score, score a new fold here. I'm going to use my lighter. make a nice good crease in that because that's going to be now the new center of your bow 
And once you've got that center, you can see that just here. Make sure you can see that on the inside because that's the guide you're going to use. So once you've got that in place, you need to take a needle and cotton. I've um, just used a basic cotton thread and I've doubled it up and knotted it at the end. The reason I've doubled it up is just to make that a little bit stronger for when you pull, pull it tight. So we're now going to stitch this six stitches. We're going to start by going in through the top. So you want to get, make sure you catch this corner and you want to go in, pull that all the way through. And then you want to come up through the bottom about a centimetre in between each stitch. Again, using that crease that you've made as a guide. So that's stitch number two. Three. See, I need some light. Three. Four. I'm just going to pull this pin out now because I no longer need the pin in there. and once you've done that so we've actually got five stitches I said six didn't I but it's five stitches we've got one two three four five so oh, no, it's six sorry I was right the first time <laughs> one two three four five six once you've got them in place you can just fold this back and you've got this piece of excess ribbon here you can see that when I open that this piece of excess so just fold that back and we're going to chop this excess piece of ribbon off not too close to the stitch line because you don't want to cut through your cotton but just close enough just to get rid of that excess heat seal that and then we are going to pull this ribbon now and that will make your pinch And then once you're happy that that's tight enough, you can then wrap that round the centre a few times. One, two, three, four. And then grab your needle and on the bottom side, just seal that off. Go through and then under the loop and I'm just going to repeat that again just to make sure that's nice and secure once you've got that in place you can then take your scissors and cut off the excess cotton like so. So now you will have something like this. Now the next job you need to do is to make these ends here into nice points. So to do that you just kind of roll the ribbon inwards so you get this nice pointed shape at the tip. And just push that down and I'm just going to use the lighter to melt that ribbon down a bit and just hold that point in place like so and then you can do the same with the other side roll that in roll the ribbon inwards just make a nice point at the top there and heat seal
Okay, so now you've got these nice points. The next stage, you will need another piece. I'll just move this needle before I prick myself. You will need another little piece of needle and cotton, which I've prepared here. This one I've just done singly because you don't really need to pull on this one too much. So a single strand of ribbon should be fine. So you've got your bow like this. You now need to bring in the point to the center of the bow and this point into the center and you want to overlap these points by just a little bit about half a centimeter can you see that there just overlap them so you're bringing the points in overlapping and then using your cotton you just want to sew those ends together a little bit and I'm trying to do this cat-handed so I can get get it in the view of the camera. So I'm sewing these ends in together. I can't get it in. Once you're happy you've just got them together enough, you want to meet that with the centre of the bow and then you can push your needle right the way through, through to the bottom of the bow. Wrap that round a couple of times and again just seal seal that off next you need to cut off that excess ribbon get rid of that pin so I don't uh, pit prick myself Right, then you just need to shape your bow. As you can see, the bow shape gives a nice little sort of overlapped look. So it looks like this piece is overlapping and this piece is overlapping here. It certainly doesn't look like you've only used 30 centimetres of ribbon. So you just need to pull that into shape a little bit. like so and once you're happy with the overall shape you can then grab your tails so there you have the shape of the bow next we're going to add the tails i've got a hot glue gun here so i'm just going to dab a piece of hot glue along the center of my tail and i'm just going to Line that bow up and hot glue that onto the tail. Be careful you don't burn yourself, like I have done many a times. So there you have it on the tails. And then the next job is to add the clip. Um, as I've said on previous videos, um, lining your clip is completely optional, it's up to you. But I do like to have my clips lined. Um, for this particular bow, I could have used a black or white, I've gone for a white. I've already heat sealed the end. This ribbon is a 10 millimeter wide and it's cut to uh, 11 and a half centimeters in length. You need to take your hot glue and add the glue to just under half or just over three quarters of the way take your clip and on the bottom you want to start here line the ribbon in line with the clip tuck it in the little pinch bit and round so that's what you've got so far and then I don't bother putting glue on this part because this part will um, stick both sides together. Open the clip, wrap that piece around and push down. 
there you go there you have your lined clip and then you want to pop a little bit of glue on the top of that clip and then you can just pop that on the back of your bow allow that to dry for a few seconds for the center of the bow you can again use matching ribbon but as I've got the black glitter tails, I've decided to go for a black glitter strip along the middle just to bring out the tails. So I've cut a little length of black glitter strip. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the end. Open that clip. Stick that on under the clip, the first end making sure that that's in the center then you want to bring that round to the front of the bow making sure that's nice and central snip off any excess and finish off with another dab of glue open up the clip And there you have your finished, just move this glue gun out of the way. And there you have your finished bow. And as you can see, looking at that, it looks like you've used a lot more than just 30 centimetres of ribbon. That's just absolutely ideal for using those little scraps of ribbon and giving you a really nice little finish. And there you have your finished bow. Hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you've got any questions, um, do pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Um, hope you have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Bye.